So it is cool with you though, if we do stuff, even though... I mean... As long as neither of y'all tell anybody. Listen, Anubis, I literally got you recorded, alright? <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> you just left the group chat, dude. <laughs> what a pedophile. Alright, for those who don't know, Discord was initially created as a text and voice platform for gamers to communicate. So it could be used for raids, ranked matches, MMOs, FPS, tournaments, etc, etc, etc. The platform quickly replaced other communication platforms such as Skype and TeamSpeak, and today it's pretty much the most used application out of the three. However, just like any online chat room, there's a dark side to it. Today, Discord is infested with NSFW and dating servers. And with those servers, there's a huge volume of little girls and boys. And with little girls and boys, we have pedophiles. And they told Peter to stay away from the wolf. But he didn't listen to them, because he's his own man. And he knew that sometimes the things that seem the most dangerous turn out to be the most fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> So I made a new Discord account putting on the persona as a 14 year old girl, went to Discord.com to search and join NSFW and dating servers, then after telling some of my friends about what I was doing, one of them managed to hook me up with some selfies I could use to catfish, and the other one actually sent me additional screenshots of pedos she caught in the past. Even better, we managed to get one of the pedophiles she was already talking to on video call. During this whole process, I probably gathered around 12 pedophiles, and for the purpose of this video, I'll be showing not only a hand full of the different types of pedophiles I caught, but the process of catching the one we got on video call on video call. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Meet Rec SRS. So with this guy, he randomly DM'd me on the account with a standard high. Now listen, just with the no profile picture and the weird username, I knew this guy was one of those and he could not be trusted. I knew this guy was hunting for something, and I had it. I then go on to reply with two eyes because that's just what an innocent e-girl does. He then goes on to reply, how are you? I tell him I'm good, and then I ask him how he is. He replies fine, he asks me where I'm from, I say the United States, and then he goes on to reply Italy. It was literally just a normal conversation. I feel like he had a tally list of things to say before he can get straight down to business in my head. Finally, he asked me for my age and I reply with, I'm 14 if that's okay with you, with the tongue emoji. Then he surprisingly just got straight down to business and asked me to send my photos. I replied asking how old he is though, because he never told me after I told him. Then guess what the man replies with? He replies, he's 23 years old. Now that's, that's crazy! I reply with, ooh, that's cute. Then he asks me yet another time, now knowing both of our ages, to send photos. I reply with, why? And he says he wants to see me. I told him if he sends one, I'll send one. Then guess what? The Kmart shooter actually does. Then he sends me a picture of his hand on his d Listen, before we go on, what you're about to see is questionable, and for those who think I'm one of those, I need you to just click off my channel right now, we can't have you on here in 2020, I need you to leave. Alright, anyways, I reply, OMG, that's big. Then he asks, do you like it? And then, I say yes, what does it do? Now listen, I didn't say that because I liked it, I said it because I wanted to give him another opportunity to like either expand on what he's trying to do or just like log off because he realizes like what he's actually doing and what he proceeds to say is mind boggling. The caveman is completely clouded by his horniness and dodges the question and says send your sexy photos now. Now, I gave him yet another opportunity to just drop it and leave, you know, 
I say, I want to, but I'm only 14. Do you mind? With the pensive, broken heart emoji. Then, the caveman completely dodges that reply and says, show me your tits. I say, do you not care I'm 14? And he says, no. Listen, now I'm pretty sure we already proved Rec SRS is a pedophile, so let's move on to the next one. I want you to meet two mongoloid beasts. The first one goes by the name Thomas, and the second one goes by the name Out of Control. I categorize them in the same group because they both practically represent the same quintessential pedophile behavior. The mind of a pedophile works similarly to the mind of a titan from Attack on Titan. They're both absolutely brain dead and they only desire one thing, food. Thomas crawls into my DM with a standard high. However, unlike Rec SRS, he uses a lowercase h instead of using a capital H. I automatically detect that there was something about Thomas we didn't know about. So to test if he was a sensitive person or not, I decided to reply with a capital high. This however placed no effect on him. It only made him stronger, and I replied not only with a yes, but with a picture of my friend who was again above 18. He then tells me to give a description of myself. Unsure, I didn't know if he was asking me to sexually describe myself or to describe my personality like any normal person would do, but I knew this man was no normal person, so I let him make the first move and asked him how. This is when I learned he was 24 years old, a year older than Rec SRS so I immediately let him know that I'm 14 years old if he didn't mind. Then, he literally does the unexpected, something that probably tops any type of school shooter tendency you could think of. He asks me for my bra size. Bothered by this request, I am looking at myself, sweating, paranoid, shaking. I don't know what to do. How could someone possibly reach this level of pedophilia? I hunted, scouted, searched, googled, any possible bra size I could. Now listen, I am not one of those. I don't know anything about bra sizes. It took me two minutes to quickly google bra sizes that could potentially match my friend's picture. And I responded with 30DD. Right after that, he asks if I'm home. I say yes. Then he follows up asking if I'm home alone. I respond yes. And this is where his true colors finally show. He tells me to strip naked. How is this possible? I told him you first. Then he says, you will do as you're told. Understand me, s But wait. Honestly, I just want to get to the part where we caught the pedal on camera. So I'm going to speed run this portion. He says he's 20 and from Europe. I say I'm 14 from the US. He asks me what I'm up to. I reply, I just got out of the shower and am lazy to dry myself. He says he wishes he can help me. I say OMG how. He says he wants to help me dry. Then he asks if I'm into nudes. Bust. 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 So why is it that pedophiles are attracted to children? Is it the inevitable bond between men and raw nature? Is it a mental illness that simply cannot be treated? Is it an environment or a personal experience that altered the course of their thinking? For our last guest, my friend and I attempt to get a pedophile who goes by the Elias Anubis. Hopefully, he answers these questions. Anubis said, you are fine. Mine's showing me what you look like. So I just sent him a picture of me. And it's in a car. And he said, got the car ready for me and everything. LOL. And I said, LMF. LMFAO for sure <laughs> and he said I would love to see you nice babe or at least your breasts question mark if that is okay I said I'm on a call right now with a girlfriend of mine you can join if you want then maybe we can do something after because I'm trying so hard to get <laughs> really you accepted my friend request on the other account right yeah all right so let's make a group chat with that account and do that. well shouldn't I wait until he yeah wait until he responds I don't know, I think, I think Anubis is scared. <laughs> Why is Anubis? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was online and then he just suddenly went off. It's just like, crazy to me, like, they know they're doing illegal shit and they don't even, like, care. Like, take no precautions. Oh. Yeah, they, they just, they just, like, jump right in. Yeah. They're like, not even, like, the weird, like, puddle, like, well, don't, don't tell anybody about this, right? Like, they're just like, <laughs> they're, yeah, they're like animals. would you like to see my penis? <laughs> what okay he said i am at work right now but if you want to send me a screenshot of you and your girlfriend on can you can wow <laughs> what i'm gonna go watch some food porn 
Armin. He said, I will accept, but I will mute and no be on cam. I am driving. Oh, dang. We're trying to get him on cam, too. Yes, bro. Get him on cam and get his face. <laughs> and, like, before you, sh before you get on cam, or when he gets on cam, be like, are you sure you don't mind that my friend's only 13? Because we don't want you to be weirded out or something like that. And he's gonna be like, I don't care. Bang, that's it, nigga. <laughs> He said, "How old is your friend?" Say, how old did how old is he? Nikki are again? Uh, sixteen. Say fifteen. Okay. But turning sixteen soon, like in two months from now. And you said, <laughs> "Did I tell you?" Also, can I have a selfie selfie of you right now so I know you aren't lying? What? Yeah, I said, I said, and okay, a regular said, selfie or like? I said, okay, what do you want me to do in the selfie to prove it? He said, "Hold up a peace sign and take a selfie with her on cam." What am I supposed to do? Because he wants a picture of me doing a peace sign on camera with her, the friend. Oh, bro, this is the other guy. Wait, uh, on, here's what I'm gonna do, bro. Okay, wait, wait, wait I'll call you back real quick. Alright. I think Anubis agreed to, guys. Here it is. Pedophile is getting catched today okay so let's make a group chat with me and you and yeah oh snap <laughs> ready all right emma you call okay Hello. Hi. Hello. What are you up to? I'm literally on lunch break. I have. N I don't have a lot of time left. What time is it for you? It's six thirty. Oh. Hello. So it is cool with you though, if we do stuff, even though... I mean... As long as neither of y'all tell anybody. Yeah, no, even. I just want to make sure you're like, still down for it. I'm kind of hesitant, Anubis. but... I've been screenshotting you, I sure. recorded you. I got okay. all the evidence, alright? Let me see if I can You're literally talk to Izzy and see if she can get hers working. I'm gonna mute myself so I can eat. Okay. Listen, Anubis, I literally got you recorded, alright? <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> you just left the group chat, dude. <laughs> what a pedophile. <laughs> oh my god. He didn't even try to, like, listen to me. Wow. I was gonna, like, tell him, like, listen, what you're doing is wrong. I'm gonna. <laughs> he just left the group chat. Wow. Bro. Thank you guys for watching this video. Yeah, pedophiles are actually pretty gross. Hope Discord does something to get rid of them in the future. But for now, I don't think anything's gonna happen. It's been like this for a while. Anyways, if you guys would just 
please hit that sub button this video is probably going to get demonetized anyway so subbing liking sharing commenting i would seriously appreciate that if we can get 20 likes i'll make a video like this one it won't be the same like topic on pedophiles but it will be similar but yeah have a good night guys signing off yeah, you hit my Twitter up thinking you're the shit. What? You ain't the real blazing. I'ma throw you in a pit. Tell me why you're still playing that Fortnite. Blazing. I'm sorry, bro, but I gotta say good night. SS nigga, please don't shoot up the place. Please. YouTube, I'ma leave you a race. A race. On this platform, you ain't nothing but waste. waste. It's over for you. I can just taste it.